Welcome to Hair Bangers Ball. My name is Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. How are you doing, Eddie? I'm doing pretty good today, Michael. Thanks. How are you doing? I am super great. Could not be better. Thanks for asking. Well, we are continuing our series on the unsung heroes of rock. Today we have a band I bet Eddie's never heard of, but he probably knows the band. You ever hear of a band called Brownsville Station? Never. Brownsville Station from Ann Arbor, Michigan. They would be classified as a one-hit wonder. They had a very huge hit song called Smoking in the Boys Room. Remember that song? I do. Very badly covered by Motley Crue. <laughs> this band, this, the singer for this band, his name was Cub Coda. They're from Ann Arbor, Michigan. They were from together from like 69 to 79. What I'm going to show you is them on the Midnight Special. They, these guys were way cool, man. They had the funnest show. Cub Coda, this, his, he was the guitar player. He wore these like big, huge, like Coke bottle rim nerd glasses and a uh, a referee shirt, like the stripe. <laughs> and they had a bass player that was badass and wore like these tight spandex with boots and total glammed out. These guys were so much fun. They actually had more than more than more great songs than this. They had a song called King of the Party. Kings of the Party. <laughs> Great tune, man. These guys were fun, and they influenced like Alice Cooper. They were a huge influence on Alice Cooper, on Peter Wolf from the Jay Giles Band. What I'm gonna play for you is them on the Midnight Special. I think they were on the Midnight Special like four times. I think this was their first appearance. When they were on this show, you don't see it on this clip because the network cut it out. But when they came on, they go, we're Brownsville Station. We urge you to tune in to the other networks. Tune out right now. Go see what else is on the other channels. The network's freaked out, and 15 seconds later, he, come, he, he says, all right, welcome back. You know, he's like challenging people to see if there's anything else better on. This, these guys were great, man. They do not, this band definitely did not get the recognition they deserved. I saw them open for Triumph right before they broke up. Triumph play, this, oops, not answering this. Triumph, hey, it's, hey, it's live. Triumph was like first their first tour. Brownsville Station was the opener. That's the only time I ever saw Brownsville Station. Enjoy this, Smoking in the Boys Room from the Midnight Special. Sitting in the classroom, thinking it's a drag. Listen to the teacher rap, just ain't my bag. New bells ring, you know that's my cue. There you go. 
What do you think of that, Eddie? Oh, that was awesome. That Cub Coda guy was cool, man. I love that guy. He's no longer with us, by the way. He died of like kidney disease or something like that. Ugh. Rest in peace, Cub. You know what goes on in Ann Arbor, Michigan? What? Nothing really. That's probably why they wrote Smoking in the Boys' Room. Exactly. To go that was fun. a teenage anthem. When I was in like 11th grade, Smoking in the Boys' Room, that everybody was singing that. We were in the bathroom sneaking smokes, you know, smoking in the boys. The ultimate, besides School's Out from Alice Cooper, that has got to be the ultimate teenage anthem, Smoking in the Boys' Room. <sighs> rest in peace, Cub Coda, and rest in peace, Brownsville Station. Thanks for joining me on Hairbangers Ball. Don't forget, East Bay. What is it? AFLTB15. Wrong. AFBUTL15. Save 10% off any order of $50 or more. We'll talk to you next time. You know I'm going to lose. The gambling's for fools. But that's the way I like it, baby. I don't want to live.